I've been experimenting with uh, Chrome Remote Desktop and Chrome in general. Uh, it's uh, an extension which you can install freely, uh, which I've done here. Um, now it says that my session has expired. So what I'll do is I'll start this all over again. Uh, basically, you install Remote Desktop on one computer and then install it on the second computer that you want to remotely access. So um, basically here I press access. Now what I'll do is I'll show this to you uh, in full. If I wanted to share this one, I select share and then it will give me an access code. Um, now I'm going to pause this video and I'll go and do I'll do this share function on another computer and then I'll enter the access code in here. So I'll just pause it for a moment and so I can show you. Okay, I've just gone in next door and uh, I've started that I've, I've uh, generated that access code, so now I'm going to go into here. Now I'll just pause this because I don't want you to show. I don't want to show the code to you. So I typed in that code. It's actually a uh, a twelve-digit number. And um, oh, incidentally, I I had to log in with my uh, one of my accounts, one of my Gmail accounts. Okay, so it's just showing you the Chrome. Now what I can do here is if I click on that screen options and go full screen. Okay, and uh, you can just sort of sneak it. You have to, got to kind of sneak up on this thing to close that. Uh, now, now basically I'm re fully remotely accessing that computer so I can just uh, minimize that there. And um, I've got, okay, as a little bit of a lag. Um, now these two computers I think are on the same subnet, but that's not a restraining criteria. I've just tried it on two computers that are on, that are on different subnets and this works just the same. So the moment I've got, this, this computer I'm remotely controlling is the one we use for our PCB board milling, milling and 3D printing. Um, now I've got Boardmaster running here and I'll just show you the uh, the camera feed here. I just went in and plugged in a, uh, a webcam. Resolution is a bit bit low uh, but you can see now there's your um, a view of the top-down view of the milling machine and I put a little light there to give some light because the, the workshop lights are turned off at the moment. So now what I want to do with this um, machine is I'll just move this. There is it is a little bit laggy because I'm clicking on this now and there's a uh, a delay. Now I think the reason why is because I'm doing a desktop record of this of this demo. So the uh, my computer is actually a little bit overloaded now, but hopefully with a bit of patience we'll be fine. So. <clears throat> What I want to do, I want to just try and show this to you. This is my first time doing this, by the way, but I think it will be fine. Uh, if I press, say, go home, we should see that milling head move across to the home position. So once again, normally when you do this, the response time should be pretty good. OK, so there you go. That's quite nice. Now, this webcam, by the way, does have a mic, so I'm not sure if the remote desktop can share the audio feed as well. That's something to look into a little further. Um, now, what I can do here is, because we're not actually making a board right now, uh, incidentally, there is a board that I do need to make, um, which I can click on. We'll just close that help page for a minute. And here it is here. This is what I'm going to be sending out to the printer soon. Um, so the great thing is that by using this remote desktop I've got a dual screen monitor so I can basically control two computers and um, 
while while this machine is milling out the top layer of the board or the bottom layer of the board, I don't have to sit next to the machine uh, getting deafened uh, by the vacuum cleaner running continuously. Uh, I can just carry on with other work and I can monitor progress. And there's obviously some mechanical tasks that uh, can only be done when you're there by the machine, like flipping the board over. Um, but it is quite nice to have that remote, at least that some degree of remote control and uh, monitoring, which I quite like. So at the moment, I'm just going to shut this down. So again, I have to click twice to do that. But uh, if I exit from here, and they'll say yes, uh, I want to break communications. And if we go back to camera view, you should see that uh, machine shut down, there you go, and the lights should go off. The little, little red uh, LED thing should eventually switch off. Uh, actually, that will stay powered on, but it's but it's now in uh, kind of sleep mode. Uh, I think that is quite interesting. Now, if you stop... Now, I don't know if there, there may be a 20-minute time limit on this, or it may be a case of if you don't use the interface for more than say five or ten minutes um, it will go to sleep. Uh, now there, there probably are a host of better options out there, some of them requiring money, but for a free uh, remote lab, uh, sorry, uh, remote desktop access, this is a really uh, very interesting and cool option. Uh, I think we will uh, stop right there for this little uh, video demo. Incidentally, um, I can press this to exit the full screen and now you can see that desktop window is now compacted down, back down inside the Chrome interface which is running on my computer, the one that I'm sitting in front of. And at any time I can go uh, click on stop sharing and that's from the remote computer stop sharing and break that connection or I could click on this blue tab here and, and uh, select disconnect. Um, there's some send keys here, uh, print screen, which could be handy for something. Um, yeah, so because you don't have your keyboard access, you've only you've only got access with the mouse control there. So at least there's one function there you can use. So thank you very much for your attention. That's the end of that little video.